Spider-Man is the coolest superhero ever. And Spider-Man No Way Home might be the biggest movie ever. And when I saw that Dr. Octopus was gonna fight Tom Holland Spider-Man and Elon Musk was gonna box Jake Paul, I knew I had to recreate it. But guys, I have like a week. I wanted to start off with building Doc Ock, but there was a big issue. Like most of you, I don't own any of the Lego variants of these characters or any of the two billion other characters cameoing. I knew the only way was to build a custom one from scratch, so minifig drawer time. After I secured all the right minifig parts, I pieced it all together and, and tried to grab myself this awesome Lego piece. Um, Iron Man, I, I need your neck piece. You're not gonna give it to me? Aren't you like dead? How are you speaking? Um, j j can I just have the neck piece, please? We're gonna have to do this the hard way, aren't we? We're gonna have to do this the hard way, aren't we? Secured the bag. Progress was being made, but then another issue occurred. I tried so much, and as all hope was lost, I found the perfect pieces. One of my Lego Ninjago sets actually has these awesome curved metallic tube pieces that work perfectly for this suit. I yanked them off the set and attached them to the suit, and luckily there was enough. Then I built some tips with some mechanical pieces so that Doc Ock could stab people, and it was done. The arms are so poseable, and it's gonna work perfect for throwing cars at Spidey. So, I grabbed some minifig parts, but this time it didn't look too sharp. Just ignore it. Anyways, for his glider, I experimented with these tiny gray and gunmetal gray pieces and came up with some really nice shaping and ultimately whipped up a very accurate design. And dang, that glider is ready to actually kill Spider-Man. But we still gotta add his bomb because he's a very violent person. And boom, it was done. Oh, that pun was so slick. Now with all of that out of the way, it is time for the actual build. After chugging far too many 50-hour energy drinks, I was ready. I'm gonna build a massive bridge with Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock and a bunch of explosions and cars flying around the place and you're gonna watch me do it um here's my rent after building a simple foundation i had the idea of building the bridge sideways so i toweled the ground and got designing on the road it was a quite tricky and intricate design i'm using an illegal sideways building technique utilizing very small fragile parts and i'm gonna add some explosions rubble cracks and flames because doc Ock and green goblin kind of make this bridge their literal playgrounds i added some different colors and moved on to building the large overhang structure i couldn't really use the accurate color because i ran out of gray and only have one girder piece but i did add this funny little green road sign with some brick built text. At this point, my legs are just immune to Lego. I'm built different. And it's car time. I don't like car time. I've never built a Lego car and I have like three days plus editing this video left. So I grabbed the bare amount of car pieces I owned and got designing. I made them look very destroyed and even threw in this car from a set. Now to elevate it, I built some clean dark tan pillars to hold it up. Boys, look who it is. He's invited to the party and we're running really low on time, but that's not even the biggest issue. There was a huge issue. Guys, I built this after I built this part. So that means I have to go underneath this and place these. This is definitely gonna break. All of this build could go to waste in a matter of seconds, but I went for it. A piece already fell off. This is this this road is really fragile. Oh, come on. And it worked out well. Time was winding down and Doomsday is about to arrive. Pray for me to get this video done in time. I speed ran building some walls and moved on to adding some more explosions using some ice cream pieces. Now I left this space here for a reason. I'm gonna build part of the bridge falling down into the abyss. So I grabbed some mixel joints, wedge plates, studs, and one by twos and got to work. Finally, Spidey and the villains joined the party and it's done. After days of grinding, stressful but fun it was done and i am so happy with the results and glad that you can experience this too stay tuned for more lego spider-man no way home creations like the final battle and all that garbage and subscribe it'd mean a lot also check out this holiday collab playlist it has a bunch of other holiday builds and they're amazing just like this